So we already spoke about two types of simple machines. We spoke about levers and we spoke about inclined planes. Now in this lecture I'd like to talk about a third type of simple machine known as the pulley. Now the pulley acts on a very similar principle as does the inclined plane and the lever. And the pulley looks something like this where we have pulley number one and pulley number two. Now the pulley allows us to lift or lower an object over a greater distance but using less force. So it allows us to lift the heavy object with less force. The amount of work done is the same exact work but now my distance is greater. And to see what that means let's look at the system. Suppose we have pulley number one and pulley number two. And suppose we have a very long continuous rope that at one end is attached to some mass M and the other end loops around these pulleys and then it ends up at this point. So what I'm saying is the following. This system allows us to apply less force and we can actually lift this object with less force than if we simply take the object this way and begin lifting it upwards. So let's examine what that means. So let's first choose our system. So what is our system in this case? So let's choose our system to be pulley number two. So I want to see all the forces that act on my pulley, on my pulley number two, on my system that we have chosen. So once again, the system is pulley number two. Why are we choosing pulley number two? Well, that's our Arbitrary. We can choose any system, but in this case, let's choose pulley number two because this system will allow us to see what forces act on my object, my pulley number two. So, we see that two forces or three forces act on my object. One force points downward and the second force points upward and the third force points upward. So let's choose downward as my positive direction and let's choose upward as my negative direction. So two forces go up, so negative forces, and one force goes down. Now since this is the same rope and it's one continuous rope, that means whatever tension we have in this rope, this is the same exact tension. So these two forces going upward is the same exact tension force. So the force going downward and two equal forces going upward. So we want to find the net force acting on this pulley. And remember the point is to lift my object with the same velocity. So I don't want to accelerate as I'm pulling or lifting my object my mass m. And that means my net force on the object should be zero according to Newton's uh, law of motion. So we want to calculate the net force and this better be zero. So let's begin. So the force going downward is positive. The two forces go upward are negative. So uh, zero or net force is equal zero equals force one minus in parentheses force 2 plus force 3. So let's bring the forces on one side and force number 1 on the other side. So we get force 1 equals force 2 plus force 3. So note that because force 1 and force 2 are exactly the same, that means we can replace them with some other force. So let's say that this is T1 and T2 or simply T plus T where each T represents the force in one of these ropes. So, so what's the tension in this rope? Well since this rope is attached to mass M and, and the force of gravity is pulling down on this mass that means force 1 is simply Mg. So Mg is equal to F2 plus F3 which is simply T plus T which is simply 2T. So that means T so that means T is simply Mg divided by 2. So we find that the force in each of these ropes, in each of these sections, is mg divided by 2 and mg divided by 2. So th this is my force in each of these ropes. Now notice the following. Since this is one continuous rope, that means whatever force we have in these two ropes we have the same exact force in this rope. So that means the tension in this rope is also T, which is equal to mg divided by 2. So notice that the force with which we're actually pulling on our object is now half of that force that this 
rope experiences. So in other words, the force here is mg, the force in this rope is mg divided by 2. And that means because of this pulley system, it allows us to pull our mass upward at a constant velocity with no acceleration at a force that's half of the force of this rope. But notice the following. Notice earlier I said that the amount of work done stays the same. In other words, this pulley system does not change the amount of work done as long as I neglect friction. So if, if these pulleys are completely frictionless and we assume the rope to be massless, that means that the amount of work done in lifting this this way or lifting it this way is exactly the same. But notice that work is force times distance. And because the force here is twice as much as the force here, that means to compensate the distance that this rope moves should be twice as much as the distance this rope moves.